Look at that. There we go. There we go. It's uh, been a long fucking day. But uh, this mic right here might sound a lot different than what I usually use. I'm actually using my Astro headset right now, and it doesn't really pick up really well. It um, it's a really low. Who knows? Uh, Cause I got it kind of rigged up with my Triton's old stuff. So I kind of broke two hundred dollars worth of equipment tonight. And one of my pet peeves is I hate losing. I hate losing with a passion. I hate losing even more when I'm the only person that has something to lose. But shit happens. And it's something I've been trying to get over all my life. I mean, even when I was a child, I could not stand losing. And shoot, half the fights I've ever got in real life was based around losing. And that 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 hatred of losing is what actually got me to um just I don't know. It, losing is uh, it feels like I've failed in every form and manner period when I lose. Like uh, if I lose a game of Call of Duty, I feel like I shouldn't play Call of Duty anymore. It's just the way it is. I mean, it's like I feel like somebody I feel like I wasn't good enough and I couldn't I I I felt like I wasn't good enough to the point where it's like maybe I shouldn't be playing. And um everybody's probably seen the video by now where I I lost to uh the Syndicate project in a 1v1 on Bog and I kind of lost my head toward the end of it. And uh, the, one of the main reasons I lost my head was mainly because of uh the I was afraid of the backlash it was going to cause because my channel being good at Call of Duty is a cornerstone of uh, my channel, and be it whatever it is, be it I beat him nine out of the ten times after that, and I didn't even try to get a rematch. Um, it 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 was what it was, and I ended up losing. And um, a lot of people <laughs> really didn't like what I did after that, and you know I ended up breaking the controller, and then I cussed out Woody and all this and talk some trash and that that's just the way my way of dealing with a loss because when Woody jumped on me and started laughing at me and all this I was ready to fight I was when I lose I get ready I was ready to fight if would you start stepping into two people ready to beat each other up and you get hit and you wonder what happened and Woody understood why I was cussing at him and that it was, I thought, me I thought it was pretty obvious I was mad I mean I stayed mad for almost two hours afterwards. Shoot, it's like three in the morning right now, and I can't sleep because I'm still somewhat mad about it. And that's just the way it is. And, and and video games is the only thing that does that to me. Like, um, and it's kind of puzzling to me because, like, if I if I get like a rage quit loss, like say the host migrates or something, and you you know it takes you back to the dashboard and gives you the loss, that those don't bother me for some reason. It's like, oh, well, what can you do? Because I have no control over it. It's when I actually do lose the game, be it, you know, somebody, you know, has a position on me or whatnot. That's the ones that affect me. And it makes me feel like I don't want to play. Like, it's like I have this I have this stellar KD, but it's like, what, what fucking good is it? I mean, I can't win this one fucking game. I don't want to beat myself up. I have, I have like a, I think somebody did the math correctly. I have like a 32 game when like not win streak but like win loss ratio i average over 30 games one to my every one loss and it it uh it's disheartening it is because losing sucks i mean that's the reason i don't play on my my secondary accounts much i got accounts i don't even care about the kd on and i still can't stand losing on those accounts it may, it makes me feel like i i lose a part of myself and I'm sure somebody out there can relate to me, and I'm sure some people are like, well, that's a sign of immaturity, which it is. It, but it's just something I can never get over. Everybody has flaws, and I, I feel like if my flaw is, you know, getting mad because I lose a game of Call of Duty or a video game, that flaw isn't so bad next to somebody that, you know, wants to beat on women or, you know, wants to cheat on, uh, or cheat people out of money or wants to, you know, be an Indian giver or things like that. There's worse flaws out there than just getting upset, I mean... It, in the long run, my flaw just ends up costing me money. That's all it ever does. 
but some people value good sportsmanship and all this. Um, it's just the way I am. I'm a. What can you do? I'm not going to apologize for being myself, and it's something I got to work through. But you know, the videos are out there. People are going to hate what they want to hate them on. But people love to see you fail. If you want to succeed in the Call of Duty community or 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 the, any any anything in this venture right here, people will love to see you fail. People will not watch your videos till death do you part. But as soon as you fail, everybody knows that all the people show up. All the rats come out of the woodwork. It's just like when somebody dies. Like a Vincent Van Gogh dies, his paintings shoot through the roof. Michael Jackson dies. You know, Michael, Jack Michael Jackson's career was dead long before he died. I know it sounds a little insensitive. But as soon as he died, it, er er everybody got nostalgic. And it was hip to, be, to have a Michael Jackson album. And be listening to, you know, some Billie Jean or something like that. And you know what I'm saying is true. And that's just my feelings on that. I mean, I'm doing this commentary now at, at the end of the cusp of it. Mainly because I got a, we got a hurricane rolling through probably tomorrow, tomorrow evening. And I might lose power. Who knows? So just go and get the message on out there. It's, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to step down on painkiller already or whatnot. Because right now it feels like if I weren't a part of that, I wouldn't be in this situation now. But... Because, I mean, the pros and the cons of painkiller already for me, it's kind of hard to outweigh. One, I enjoy doing it. Two, I love being a part of something like that. But at the same time, all it does is end up costing me money, time, lose sleep, have to have to not do certain things. But, you know, it's always sacrificing everything you do, and I understand that. That's mainly why I got 1,300 videos on my channel. And I run another channel with another hundred videos there, and I probably got five hundred on Machinima. Then there's Persona Gaming, I probably got fifty or sixty on. I mean, out, out my videos are out there, and that's just the way it's always going to be. I mean, even if I would quit right now, people would probably still be subbing to me years from now. I just don't know what to do. Hello, yeah, there we go. I just don't know what to do.